Hey there guys, Neil here with your preview of the new videos and podcast sections in Spotify. So once you have Spotify installed and you're logged in, um, getting to the videos and podcasts is actually very straightforward. Um, a bit of uh, information before we get started, it's not going to include um, every single podcast that you may see in Pocket Cast or iTunes or other directories. It's got a curated form of the same directory so it's kind of basically podcasts that are participating with spotify and generally submissions that spotify themselves are approving so uh, that's really all there is for that so uh, with that i'll jump into it as far as i know the videos are done the same way but i'm not 100 percent sure about that so once you open up spotify you'll open the menu um, in this case we're looking at the android version so it's i think it's a bit similar but a little bit uh, it's close enough where it should be similar enough, but you'll go to the browse section and you'll see a new section that's called shows. It has a little antenna icon next to it. So when you select that, you'll see two, uh, two categories, one for video shows, one for audio shows. Um, audio shows is basically just the way for podcasts, but um, when I was browsing through the directory, there the video podcast will may also show up in the video section so the generic term is probably a little bit easier to understand so um when you go to the video show section you'll if you've already um seen it or once you start browsing videos you'll have a recently watched section so if you don't necessarily follow a particular video show but you want to see what you've recently watched and get back to it you'll see that but you can scroll through and see different shows like Robot Chicken, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Tosh.0, um, ESPN, Comedy Central, stuff like that. And then in this case, stuff they don't want you to know has video podcasts, so they show up here as well. So what you'll do from here is let's say you get to a show that you want to continuously follow or listen to. Like, for example, let's say you want to always listen to BBC News. You'll open it up and the page will load. You'll get the most recent um, episodes show up as well and you can scroll through. You'll get the date underneath the each uh, video clip so you know when it was posted. Hitting the overflow menu will give you a summary of what that video is about. So in this case, it's just in general news updates for that particular date. Um, and they update um, hourly, it looks like. So you'll get quite a bit of uh, news there. And so let's say you like what you listen to and you want to have quick access to them going forward. You can hit the follow button and you'll automatically have it'll automatically categorized in the, your library section, which I'll get to in a second. Um, hitting the three bars there like that will give you the option of filtering by all videos or unplayed videos. So let's say you've caught up on everything that that video show has to offer, then you can hit unplay. That way you can you only see what you have not seen yet. And then you can set the sort by date so you can go oldest, newest or newest, oldest, depending on how you want to consume that media. So that's really all there is for that. Um, the uh, audio shows is actually pretty much the same. So in this case, um, just to test it out, I started listening to a Welcome to Night Vale episode so I can keep listening to that. Um, and then scrolling through, we see Nerdist, uh, Stuff You Miss in History Class, Criminal, Art of Charms, various podcasts that are of that are of note. Um, I was browsing around online and didn't see any particular re, uh, method as to how they approve content. So it might just be they're curating for now and have a full rollout later, or um, depending on the kind of content that they want or whoever agrees to participate, they'll add those kind of, those people later. So going to, for example, Freakonomics Radio gives the same kind of. Um, layout and format hit the follow button to start following it i have my um, filter options hitting the overflow menu gives me a little bit more information um, i can download the con media if i'm going to be offline to, um, if i'm going to be offline to um, let, let's say i'm going to be on a plane or i'm going to be in a place where i don't have a good internet connection then i can do that as well um, from here, let's say you want to go to um, videos or audio shows that you've subscribed to. You simply go to your library and you click on shows and now you'll see everything, all the different shows that you're following and you can see, get a description, um, you can stop following that show, you can um, open it up to see new content and then um, for example, let's say you decide you want to download something and you've already listened to it or you no longer want to listen to it, then you can do simply as remove download and you're all set. 
Um, the format of the player is actually pretty simple. So um, it's just like you, your regular uh, Spotify uh, UI if you're listening to music where you have your album art, uh, play, pause, rewind, fast forward. Um, more information is going to the show while you're listening to an episode and things like that. Um, you can also swipe between episodes, so you have you can see different episodes and things like that. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. It's a, basically aiming to be your all-in-one music client. Um, I haven't seen a search feature yet, so if you want to actually just go into search. So let's say I want to search for Nerdist. Um, I can do a search that way. Um, we have our turf results, and then we have our show. So it actually shows all results uh, or all results relating to Nerdist. So you can see what shows are um, already have already been approved based on those search terms. So if you don't see anything in the shows direct, directory via audio or video, then um, just do a search, and you can check that way as well. So that's really all there is for that. Um, the update should already be available for most Android users and then um, iOS users. The rollout was happening this week, so look out for that. But at this point, it should already be out as far as I know for most iOS users as well. So um, definitely check it out. That's Spotify on Android in the Google Play Store and on iOS in the App Store. But that is really all for that. So if you have any questions or comments, you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that's all for this particular screencast. Thanks for listening and watching. And until next time. Mm-hmm.